So let's take a quick look at how to become an Apple teacher and where to go to get started with the whole process. First of all, we're going to open Safari. And in the search bar, we're just going to type in Apple Teacher Learning Center. That gives you then the option to sign in. We're going to go to this top one here, Apple Teacher Learning Center at apple.com. And then this next bit is going to ask you for your password to sign in. Now, if you've not become an Apple teacher before, or you don't have an Apple ID even, you're going to need to create an Apple ID, and then you'll use that Apple ID to get into the Apple Teacher Learning Center. Now, this is what the Apple Teacher Learning Center looks like. Um, there are so many things in here beyond the badges to become the Apple teacher. There are loads of resources to support. Uh, currently, obviously, there's a lot of talk around remote learning, um, and so there's some support pages around that. And there's also some really great activities here that you can do with kids, um, your own children or children that you're looking after in school um, as an educator. And when you want to become the Apple teacher, there are two routes you can take. There's either the skills for iPad or the skills for Mac. So either one of those, depending on the tools that you're using at the moment. I'm going to take a look into learning skills for iPad. And you'll see that there are different sections. iPad. Pages, Keynote, Numbers, iMovie, and GarageBand. So they're the different sections that you would need to go through. There are six sections, and that gives you six badges in total. Complete all six, and you'll be accredited as an Apple Teacher. Now, the way Apple Teacher works, really, really straightforward. Each one of these skills makes up the overall Apple Teacher badge for that one area. If I tap on iPad home screen, for instance, it's going to tell me all about how I can personalize my home screen. There are step by step screenshots that you can go through with videos as well that you can look in and a little bit of an explanation added to that gives you some tips on what you can do to apply these skills in your own practice. And then across the top, you'll see that there are all of the different elements that you would go through in order to then complete the badge with the badge being the last tab that you tick on. Now the badging system is just a way of really to check that you've understood all of the skills and your opportunity to, to go through. I've added my badge already, but this section at the bottom, it would just say take the quiz and take you to five questions, a range of different styles, some of them really nicely set into a teacher perspective of this is what you're trying to achieve, how would you do it? And when you've done that, you end up with all of your badges. You can then go to the profile where you'll be able to see all of your badges collected. And then there are some opportunities over here to see your progress report, get your certificate and even download your Apple teacher logo. So that's the process. Really easy to have a go and learn at your own speed, in your own style and in your own home.